succeed, you don't even survive as a people. You understand that? That's crazy. Yeah, get that in um, Daniel chapter 2. They have to, they've mingled their seed. And give me that in um, Matthews as well. They made a test. Uh, they're small, they're great, yeah. uh, Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Now what? Thou art greatly despised. You are the so-called white man. The Bible says you're small. Your nation ain't even big. You think there's a lot of white people, they're not, you know. It's only because they're on the TV, they're on the advertisements. You think there's a lot of them. But you pick, you go behind the closed doors, who's the one in the office? The so-called white man, right? But who's on the tills? Who's in, who's in the damn warehouse? Who's doing the deliveries? Who's buying the things? Who's actually buying them? It's predominantly, it's predominantly uh, the other nations, man. Every other nation except the uh, Caucasians, man. They're the least, they're the smallest, really. They're, and people might think they're really big, right? There's a lot of them. <laughs> no, there's not, there's not a lot of you guys, man. They're the least, man. They're the smallest. And greatly despised as well. Among, among all of the ones that are there. Now, don't take that out with me. Like we said, we're not racial. We're biblical. Don't oh, shoot the message. You took us out of West Africa. You are West Africa. You don't know West Africa. They took us out of them to learn the Bible. We learn it. All praises to the Most High, because that's what He wants. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 2 and verse 43. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with mud, with mud clay, they mingle themselves with the seed of men. They don't what? They mingle themselves with the seed of men. But they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Yeah, and they've mingled themselves, man. That's what the, the so-called white man knows. He has to mingle himself with other nations just to stay as a people. Because the seed is dying off, man. You think they're going to eat Big Macs all day in McDonald's and they're going to be healthy enough to damn make children? Like, uh, you think they're going to have a kebab and an Indian and a Thai? These English, anyway, they eat Chinese. They don't. They eat kebabs, Turkish. They eat what? Indian, a curry. <laughs> you think you can eat English food and survive? What? Or bangers and mash? Uh, you think that's going to be healthy, man? Seriously. Sausages. Swine! Hot dogs in there. A damn what? A, a samaloy and chips. You think you're going to have a good seed, a good pe a good nation of people, strong and fit from sausage and bangers and mash and mushy peas, blood. <laughs> of course they got to come and get a jerk chicken and rice and peas, blood. Of course they got to get a dumpling and two fish, man. Of course they got to go and get a, tur a Turkish doner kebab. Because their food is disgusting, man. It's not healthy enough, man. All right? If you damn live off a of dough, God forbid you become an orphan and you go get orphanized by a damn Caucasian, man. Eating damn mushy peas. I'll cry myself to sleep, cuz. <laughs> Eating bangers and mash. Ham sandwiches. A ham sandwich. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll be crazy, man. I'll be pissed off, bro. Go on, bring us up. No, no, no. Get the, um, give me them, um, yeah, the tears among the wheat, man. This is the book of Matthew, chapter... Wait, 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 you see anything you don't like? You don't like this? Are you Nilotic? Are you Nilotic, child? Are you Luo? Are you Bantu? Are you Yoruba? Bantu, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No dark, man. That's what I'm saying. No Israelite dark, man. Yeah, man. It's not good, is it? Like a burnt in the furnace, you see that? You know that, that yeah! Like the thing. Uh, that Wesley Snipes vibes. So yeah, do you know who you are according to the Bible? Man's got Levi on, he could be a Levi still. Do you, do you know do you know who you are according to the Bible? Uh, I don't read the Bible. You don't read it? Do you do with um, Obia? 
with the Obia. No, I need the Quran. You need the Quran? Yeah. Well, that Quran, man, it's, it's, it's not really that good for you, man. The Quran ain't good, man. The Quran is like, it's like a poison to our people, man. Do you understand? Your parents, it's been adopted to you. Yeah, man, it's, that's what I'm saying. Let's show you why. Give me the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 22. Hold, hold that, hold that tears among the wheat. Because what we was just talking about is that our people, they've mingled the, the Caucasians, they've mingled their seed amongst our people. We're going to show you, let's show you this. This is the book. The enemy of that is the enemy of that is the enemy of that is the this is the book of Matthew chapter 13 and verse 36. Then so called Jesus sent the multitude away and went on to the house and went into the house. His disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parables of the tears of the field. And he answered and said unto them, he that sowed good seed is the son of man. The field of the world and the good and the good seed are the children of the kingdom. So th this is the ones of the son of man. These are the children that the, the so-called blacks and Hispanics. These are the ones that are the, the good seed. All right. But we're going to show you who the bad seed are now. Yeah. It's going to show you the two sides of the seeds, right? But the tears are the children of wicked of the wicked one. The enemies are sown them is the devil oh look the devil so they got the tears and you got the wheat the wheat are the ones whose fathers they go straight to abraham isaac and jacob but the devil is the so-called white man that wants to sleep with the so-called black women and make a dirty demon child our women should not be going to sleep with the caucasians or the indians or the chinese or the arabs they become a tear it, it's called like a tear, like basically you're crying. We're cr it's a lamentation when we see our women wanting to sleep with the damn Caucasian dogs, man. They even smell like dogs, man, when it rains. Ever smell a so-called white man's hair in the rain? It smells like dog. That's the Bible, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't, don't, don't shoot the messenger, bro. They're the devil the Bible speaks of. God! Man. It just said it. Read it again. Matthew chapter 30 and verse 38 and 39. The enemy that sold them is the devil. The enemy that makes them children with a so called black woman is a demon, is a devil. Read. The harvest is in the end of the world and he's reaper um, and the reaper. Are the angels. So yeah, man. We're gonna show you one more thing, bro, before you go, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and go to verse 764. God. We're gonna show you while you pray to uh, Muslims, right? Ishma, uh, Quran, they pray to the Kaaba stone, right? That direction, right? That's wrong. That's not good. This is Deuteronomy wait, 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 wait. 28 verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there ye shall serve other gods, which th that which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. The Muslims, Arabians, Ishmael, you're not from Ishmael. You don't come from Abraham I, uh, and Ishmael. You come from Isaac Jacob, right? Most likely. Hopefully. Looking at the water, but... Even wood and stone. What? Even wood and stone. Yeah, so look, you can't wor you can't worship gods that deal with wood and stone. Yeah. That's a that's a curse. It's no good. The Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, we can't pray to white Jesus. We can't pray to white Muhammad. And Muhammad's white as well, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. We can't pray to white Muhammad. Yeah. Wait. Muhammad's a white man. A so called white man. He is. In the hadiths, you said it, right? He said he's got his layer, he's wearing his white man with his hand on his head. Yeah. You've read that before. Yeah. So we can't pray to two white men, oh. Muhammad and Jesus. Woolly hair is who we are in the Bible. God. So-called white Jesus, right, is a black man. So-called black man coming from the tribe of Judah. He was black unto the ground, man. 
burnt in a furnace like you are, man. Very Looks tough, like man. you. No, they don't like him. They don't like him. Uh, that, uh, but he's dark, dark skin like you. <laughs> what, 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 what's your, what's your country? Your Nigeria? What? Was it Nigeria? What's your state? Huh? Nigeria. Yes. Okay. What, what tribe is that? Naruba. Okay. Yeah, man. Well, cool, man. Maybe you, maybe not, man. But hopefully, if you are, you turn to the laws, statutes, and commandments. You repent, man. Times are coming when this place is going to be blown up. Mm. And the Nigerians, they weren't living good in Poland, were they? Trying to bang on the Polish gates, trying to get out of Ukraine. Yeah. They weren't allowed. Yeah. And then you went to, um, when, what was it, three, four years back, you was trying to run away from Nigerian persecution, and you went through to uh, Liberia, and then the Liberians, Muslims, were grabbing Nigerians and whipping you and selling you on Facebook. Yeah. Slavery again. Slavery again. And that was only three, four years ago, man. Yes, the you Nigerian Muslims, you guys are getting sold by your own Muslim brothers, man. Uh, you guys are waste, man. You understand? <laughs> Throw that Quran in the bin. <laughs> Alright, burn it, man. It's a joke. <laughs> Turn to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Because them damn guys are kufars, man. Them Muslims themselves are kufars, man. Slapping up their wives, all right? Smoking a zoo, smoking a big joint like Bob Marley, man. Them damn Muslims, man. Trying to get a jugging. They're trying to get juggy juggy with the damn Tottenham man and the and the Beckham man, man. We see you guys, man. You're you're hypocrites, man. All right, we see you guys. And then they want to go to the damn pub and then turn on to the damn Caucasians with a Smith line, man. You see them, innit? Yeah, yeah. Trying to take a two line with them damn Harrys and that. With Harrys and Charles and that. And Gregory. Yeah, well, no, no more, man. Not us, anyway. All right, let's get the book. Let's get the book of Job chapter 36. Job 36 and 5. And you can get wisdom of Solomon 4 and 3. Show it, we're gonna show you why we stop doing that stupidness, man. Right, go on, read. Job 36 and verse 5. Behold, power is mighty and despiseth not any. He is mighty in strength and wisdom. He preserveth not the life of the wicked, but giveth right to the poor. He withdraweth not his eyes from the righteous, but the kings are they on the throne. Yea, he doth establish them forever, and they are exalted. And if they be found in fetters, and beholden in cords of affliction, then shall he show of them their work and their transgressions, and they have that they have exceeded. He openeth also their ear to discipline, and commandeth that they return from iniquity. The same way David did, man. A brilliant example, man. How we dealt with David. And how he teaches them, man. This is how we are kings and priests on the earth, man. Give me um, Revelations. Go Revelations 5. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 5, and verse 10. He has made us unto our power kings and priests what? kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth yeah the most has made us kings and priests so being kings and priests we gotta know in our spirit how to deal as a king be it the way that david acted man the way that solomon asked for, for, for wisdom and guidance man and knowledge and understanding we need to be as the kings were man the same way that um the pray, uh, Mane uh, Manesha, man, how he prayed for forgiveness, man, and he saw his iniquities, man. That's how we have to be. Right? Job 36 and verse 11. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity. If we obey, look, highlight that, man. If we obey and serve him, because why? Obedience is better than, than what? Obedience is better than sacrifice, man. If we obey and serve him, 
the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans are going to live in prosperity over the Caucasians and the, Mo and, the, and the Arabs and the Chinese and Japanese, man. Because why did they had us into subjection? They've had their turn in rulership of putting us in slavery. So slavery's coming back for those guys. For them, for all those army people, man. All those army people that go into other people's countries, kill, steal, bomb, pillage, rape, murder. Judgment for those guys, man. Living by guns and bombs, man. You think what God just forgot about those guys? So prosperity for those, read that again. Verse 11, if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. Yeah, no pleasures for wicked people. Pleasures for righteous ones, man, that want to seek judgment on wicked. Verse 12, but if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without knowledge. And they what? And they shall die without knowledge. Simple and plain. They're just going to die without knowledge, man. And that's the worst way, man. You know what I mean? If you die with the, if you die with the knowledge, that's mad. But you're not going to die with the knowledge, why? Right? Because what? Give me Sarah. This is the book of the wisdom of Solomon. Chapter three, um, chapter four and verse three. But the multitude brood, but the multiplying brood of the ungodly shall not, shall not thrive. Um, Right. Shall not thrive, nor take deep rootings from bust from the slips, nor lay any vast foundation. For though they furnish in abundance of the, a time, yet standing not fast, they shall be stricken with they shall be shaken with the wind and through the force of the wind, they shall be rooted out. And that's what's coming, man. For the wicked ones, man. They're going to get rooted out. They're not going to stand for long. All right? They're going to be destroyed, man. Wicked ones, they're going to be shaken. And that's like how they slip. They're going to slip and fall, man. That's why it says, Babylon, it's falling, it's falling. The space is done. And it can't get back up, man. Sirach 4 and 16. If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. For at first she will walk with him by crooked ways, and bring fear and dread upon him, and torment him with her discipline, until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Then will, I, then will she return the straight way unto him, and comfort him and show him her secret. So that's, that's wisdom. That her there is talking about wisdom and knowledge and understanding. She's gonna treat, she's gonna treat you good, man. Like how your wife would, man. Right? You, you look after your woman, what's she, what, what is she, what, what's she gonna do? She's gonna, she's gonna always phone you back, make sure that you've got everything clean, cooked. But when you treat her wrong, then she will, um, Salakia, but verse 19, but if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. That's knowledge. Yeah, man, you started, the most I can take your talents away and give it to you that it really belongs to. To someone that deserves it, man. Like what, I've given you all this wisdom, knowledge and these precepts and, and understandings, man. And you just what, just trashed it. The most I can take your talents and then you just become a bugger, man. And we've seen it time and time again. But we just stay on our job. We stay on what we need to be doing out here, man. The most I, hopefully, the most I brings back all the brothers that have been in the truth to, to come forth to righteousness. But like he says, many are called, but few get chosen, man. Your job could have been to just wake up a brother that needed it so he could bring, be in the kingdom, man. And that was your job. So all praises to the most I for the job. That could be, and like we said, we're not, we're not proud. We don't, we don't know. That could be just our job, man. To just wake up and elect, man. But it, hopefully that takes away a multitude of our sins. So we can get into the kingdom. Bring this out, bro. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 23, verse 2. Who was the scourge over my thoughts? 
and the discipline of wisdom over my heart that ye ain't spare me not of my, in my ignorance and it pass not by my sins least my ignorance increase and my sins are bound to my destruction see what I'm saying see what I'm saying now look because why it's ignorance man we don't want to stay in ignorance and that's going to be our destruction that's like saying ignorance is bliss we don't want to be bliss we don't want to be up here like oh I told you so like uh, and then not you don't understand you know what I mean bro do you get that king yeah, he's got the king hat as well man we we're just talking about the kings man but look the, shamp the shampoo is better than the head the word of God bro you're not clean without the bible bro you walk by the most you walk by the, by the word of God to get the cleansing agents bro wow fam. give me that Psalms 119 verse 9 man. bro you can be clean on the outside bro you need to be clean on the inside king it's the cleansing time it's a detoxing it's a spiritual detoxing Read this out, bro. This is Psalms 119 and verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? And you're not cleansing your ways with the damn perfume, man. You're not cleansing your ways and smelling fresh and clean with the perfume, man. This is how you cleanse your ways. Read. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. By taking heed according to the word of the Lord, man. Cleansing your ways, walking past the men of the Lord. So let's have it. Walk straight by the brothers. But that's cool, man. Many are called few are chosen. We read that already, man. Alright, so yeah, bring that out. Bring that out again, King. Sirach. Sirach, chapter 23 and verse 3. Please, my, it, my ignorance increase and my sins are bound to my destruction. And I fall before my adversaries and my enemies rejoice over me. And that's what will happen. When you stay in sins, your enemies are going to rejoice over you, man. All right? And that's going to be a destruction, man. A destruction on our people spiritually, all right? Because why? He says, gather yourselves together, or nation not desire. So when we gather together, we know, like-minded brothers, who we need to be watching out for, man. Never trust that enemy, man. As iron rusted, so does their wickedness, man. You're going to see in the end times. At the beginning, it's smooth and it's clean and it's looking sharp and shiny. And then they start to rust, man. You leave it out in the wind, you leave it out in the, 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 the elements, and it becomes really rusty out there. That's our enemies in front of us, man. And you got beat by the gunners, man. Waste, man, man. You know what I mean? Talking about you, you know what I mean? You got lost by your adversaries. Shining and screaming. Where are they like? 20th place. They're in some unrecognizable place in the table. Man. You should be crying, man. You should be pissed off, man. I want to hear no Yid army out here. Man. I want to hear the Mosai's army, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's army. David's army, man. David's army is coming to get you, lot, man. And he's got locks like the predator in Come. the films, man. And he's going to say, Call me, Shirella. Call me, Shirella. Right, and that's what it's going to sound like. Gentle sound in your ears, man. Because why? They're not going to have their adversaries over them because they know their iniquities and they're not ignorant to them burn perfumes on the Sabbath day, man. You don't buy anything like perfume on the Sabbath day. Like we read earlier on, we read the words of the Lord. We read the words of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, to tell you guys that judgment is coming and vengeance for the wicked, man. For all that mourn. Vengeance is coming for the wicked because the ones that are mourning are, are pissed off. They're pissed off right now. We are upset. We're not happy, man. Look at our faces. Do we look like we're smiling with Caucasians, man? All right? To hell with those guys, man. I want, it, I want them in slavery, man. Like my ancestors were, man. And look, 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 look at the smug faces. Look at the smug faces, man. Get those guys, man. Zoom in on them smug looks, man. Alright, come, let's go. This is Job 
46 and verse 22. Yeah. Behold, behold, power him exalted by his power, who teacheth like him, who have enjoined him his way, or who can say thou hast wrought iniquity. Yeah, that, that, that's the, give me 33 and 16. The most high, right? So who teacheth like the most high? No one knows. Like, come on. How does the most high teach you, bro? Get, let's get that, bro. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 5. The most high will teach you, man. How? Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28 and 45. This is how the most high is going to teach you, man. This? Only, wait, this is how the most high teaches the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8 and verse 5. Thou shalt also consider thine heart that a man, uh, that as a man chasteneth his son, so Yahweh shall, um, thy power chasteneth thee. So the way the most high, all right, chastenizes the boss, man, is like this. This is the book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to, co to keep his commandments and his statutes which he, which he commanded thee. And that's what's going to get us, man. Give me the book of... Uh, Proverbs 22 and verse 6. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6. Train up a child in the way in the way he should go and when he's old he will not depart from it. What? He will not depart from it. So we've been trained by the Most High by getting tormented by all you damn humans man. Egyptians, Romans, Greeks, even to this day, you guys are the, your forefather is Alexander, right? Romans, right? That's their ancestors, man. Oh. The Greeks. Alright, so yeah, to the day, we have been still being chastised by Caucasians, man. And now, through that chastisement, it's made us strong. Oh. We've been what? Trying. Like how gold, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, and we're gonna stay on the straight and narrow path, man. We're not gonna start kissing the asses of the damn Caucasians, man. I'm not gonna start loving a damn gook or a Chinese guy, man. But how much times have they been disrespecting our the daughters uh, of our people, man, and our aunties? In the damn nail shops, man. You go and get the nail shops and you gotta defend your woman. Because they've been trying to slap our women about. You understand? Well, our women are crazy trying to go to them for them getting their nails and that done anyway. Our women are crazy just get our hair and nails done. That's mad. I ain't gonna trust these guys. And our women should stop trusting in these heathens as well, man. It's a joke. Yeah, no, no, no one people are saying that we, we like our people making their own businesses and that, and that. but it's just brother wanted to hear he wanted to hear see that rather than hear the word that's man you should the word should come before all things because the most high made the minerals for you to even put that in the bowl you understand give the most high the praises but over everything right? and the most high said don't work and buy and sell on the sabbath day anyway man keep that day separate holy a day of rest all right bring that up bro this is job 5 3 and verse 16 or shall start no, it's, all right, come. Then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. That, yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Job 5, 3 and 14. For power speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. Yeah, the most I will say it once, you'll say it twice, man. You know, like your mum, your dad, they always say it again and again. Drill it in your head, you know. Like, yeah, all right, look, come home at 11. Or come home, no, come home for 10 o'clock. Uh, you know, hey, it really does. What time did I tell you to come home? Uh, Just to make sure you were listening, you know. <laughs> uh, mom, you said, you said come home for 10. All right, cool, go on then. Coming back home at 12. 
You know what I mean? What? No, no, no. He says it once, he says it twice. That's why it says, even John knew, in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. That's in a, a, a Romans or Corinthians, isn't it? Right, go on, read. Verse 15, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men. Right, that's when the most I can teach you as well. He can teach you through chastisement. Or it can also teach you through dreams, visions, and deep sleep. Many ways. There's even spiritual ways he can teach you, man. Like how did he teach Abraham? With Isaac. Obedience, man. The obedience was better than what? The, the sacrifice, man. He just he counted it for righteous, man. He obeyed. In slumberings upon the bed. Yeah. I go um, go to Amos chapter three. Amos chapter three. This is this is this is a simple one. How does he teach us as as a nation? This is Amos chapter three and verse one. Hear this word. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, saying, "You only have I known of all the families of the earth." Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. That's the Most High teaching us. The Most High taught us by punishing us with who? The other nations, the heathens. He used you as our punishment. Can we do Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse uh, 21 or 23? All right, he used them as our punishment. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Yeah, 21. Yeah. This is the book of Deuteronomy 32 and verse 21. They have moved me to jealousy with, with that which is not good. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. With a what? With a foolish nation. Yeah, man, that's 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 you guys, man. Caucasian. Most I said, you He's moved us to. He's moved you. We've moved him to jealousy by dealing with all these other gods and divinations and you made a foolish nation rule over us man otherwise what we would have ruled over everybody man the blessings man. remember the bless there's the curses and the blessings he would have blessed us by us ruling over you man but we gotta go through this so why we we stay on the straight and narrow man we don't depart from the most high now man we've learned from our mis most high willing our people they learn from their mistakes and they see who the wicked are really? this is the book of james chapter 1 and verse 12. blessed is the man that enjoys temptation but when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life he shall, what? He shall, he shall receive, receive the, the crown, crown of life which yahweh have promised him and um, promised to them that love him that, what? that love him and what is the love of the most high so this is <laughs> For this, um, John, verse John 5 and 3, for this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. That's the love of the Most High, that those that love him are going to go through the trials and tribulations, man. Those that love him are going to want to keep his commandments and laws. Go to Sirach uh, 2. Right. Have you got the, um, do you mean the Zechariah 13? This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou comest to serve your hour, prepare thy soul for temptation. Prepare your soul for temptation, man. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in times of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased in that last day, in that last end. In thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take um take cheerfully and be and be patient when thou is changed to a low estate. For God is tried in the fire, what? for God is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego was tried in the fire and they was acceptable men. They was in the furnace of adversity, man. Right, read it. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. 
and it shall and it shall come to pass that in the land saith Yahweh two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third shall be left therein and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and I will refine them as silver is refined and I will try them as gold is tried and there's trial man like we said we have to go through the trial period man and that's one third of the Israelites many are called and few are chosen not all of them want to come up and hear the word they want to find out how to clean their dirty skin man but not know how to clean the dirty soul it's a shame because once you cleanse the soul the cleaning of the, of the of the body should go hand in hand right. yeah. and then, uh, they shall call on my name and i will hear them i will say it is my people and they shall say yahweh is my power and that's where we gotta know the name man because we gotta call upon a name we ain't gonna call upon jehovah or jesus or god Right, we're gonna have to know Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Bring it out. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter, chapter 3 and verse 6. As gold in the furnace have been tried, um, has tried them and received them as a burnt offering, and in the in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run. To and fro, and um, like sparks amongst the stubble. Yeah, man, that's what's gonna happen, man. When you get tried, they're gonna run to and fro, man. Like what? The spiritual powers that's gonna come upon them, and all of you gonna see it, man. That's this is powerful, man. Getting tried is a beautiful thing. Like when you when you're tried, you go, mm, mm, you, you gotta grind it down, man. Right? And the other and the other reprobate, you don't want that piece. That's what our sins and our iniquities and our... We want that to most like to sh shake that off, man. This is Proverbs 17 and verse 3. The finding pot is for silver and the furnace for gold. But Yahweh triumph the heart. Most is going to try your heart, man. The most is going to try your heart. So yeah, we got to go through the trials and the tribulations, man. We 23 and... This is the book of Job, chapter 23, and verse 10. But not, but he knew the ways that I take. When he have tried me, I shall come full as gold. So yeah, the most I knows the way that we're going to take. That's why it says he tries the heart. But he also knows what your heart desires, man. He knows what you're thinking. He knows your thoughts. He knows everything we need. But he still wants you to pray and ask for it diligently, man. So yeah, that's the most, bring that one out again, that's beautiful. The book of Job, chapter 23 and verse 10. But he knoweth the ways that I take. When he has tried me. He knows the ways we're taking, man. Man's goings are of the way of Yahweh, man. Like, we don't understand our own thoughts, our own ways. Go on. When he has tried me, I shall come full as gold. And that's what happens, man. When you go through that child period, you come forth and you become as gold. That's what we need, so-called Blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. We have been tried time and time again. Why? Because of the persecution that we've been getting. For us to be alive, it's a miracle, man. For Negroes to be alive in 2022, bro. Do you know your ancestors and the pain they've gone through for us to be standing and breathing right now up in damn Haringey? No, a lot of them forgotten. Why? Because that's what they, society wants to tell them. Forget about that. Don't worry about that. That's old. And now they're, just, now they're just dancing in the middle of the street, man. Praying in the middle of the street. For them towards, to, to, to white Jesus, man. Uh, Crazy. This is Isaiah 58 and verse 17. Thus saith Yahweh thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, man. All praises to the Holy One of Israel, man. This is Isaiah 60 and verse 17. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thine exactors righteousness. Yeah, that's come, it come right back again, man. The brass, 
that we've had and the iron that we had is going to be the trials, man, of the silver and gold, man. Yeah, man, all praises. Go to the book of Job 20, 36 and 26. Job 36, 26, man. This is the book of Job 36 and verse 26. Behold, power is great, and we know him not. Neither can the number of his years be searched out. Neither what? Neither can the number of his years be searched out. A lot of people think they know what's going on today. We don't know what's going on today. The Most High is so powerful, no one can, can search out the ways of the Most High, man. Just relax. Take your time. You don't know what happened before Genesis. You can't think about what he's thinking about. That's why it says in um, Samuel, right? You, you, the things you look at are just the carnal things in life. The Most High, what he wants is not what you want. You don't see as man sees. Yeah, man. So that's what we need to do, man. No one can search out the years. Okay. Alright, verse 27. This is the book of Job, chapter 11 and verse 13. If thou, huh? Verse 7. Thou hast not, um, canest thou by searching find out power? Canest thou find out the Almighty, the Almighty upon perfection? Yeah, unto perfection, man. Right? You can't, man. You can't find out the Most High. You can't. You don't know who he is and what he's up to, man. All we know is a man of the mo the man of war, and he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And his powers is omnipotency, man. He does all things, but you don't know what he's thinking. Just read the scriptures and understand what, what what's being what's being said in the verses, man. It is the height as heaven. What can can this thou? Is it the height of heaven? What canest thou do? Deeper, deeper than hell. What canest thou know? Yeah, you don't know how high the heaven is. You don't know how low the floor is uh, into the, the pits, man, of the shilohs, man. The measure thereof is longer than the earth, and the border is then, uh, and the border than the sea. Yeah, man, it's really, it's really far, man. Give me the book of uh, Proverbs uh, 30. Uh, give me Proverbs 30. Uh, yeah, that's it. Proverbs 30. Uh, well, Proverbs 20, 25 and, six, uh, and 16. This is Proverbs 30 and verse 4. Who have ascended up into the heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? Yeah, Who's done all their magnificent things, man? So, Psalms 139 and, 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 and 9, yeah? And 6, six Psalms 139 and 6. What's the most high's name? His name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. That's how we can tell, because we diligently studied this word, man. And the Hebrew. You understand? And the most high is this, that's who's descended up into heaven and come down. You can't do that. You know what I mean? He tells his angels to, to come down and go up and... You don't, can't do that. Just take, just take what you know and hold fast to what is... Proverbs 30 and verse 4. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 25 and verse 27. It is not good to eat much honey. So for men, um, so for men to search their own glory is not glory. He that... Uh, Proverbs... Yeah, man, look, searching too much honey, man, that means too much sweetness, man. Just don't look, because you'll get spiritual diabetic. Trying to go too expedient in things that's going way past your level man do with what you understand and if you have any difficulty go to a man of wise counsel go to the brothers that 
you know what I mean? That, that know to study the scriptures, man. And where two or three witnesses are, where two or three are gathered, the how is in the midst, most high willing, he goes and deeper for you to understand. By doing what? Noble men, day in, day out, studying the scriptures, man. And searching the scriptures to, uh, to see whether these things are so, man. Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 16. As thou found honey, eat so much as is sufficient for thee. Do what? Eat as much, um, eat so much as is sufficient for thee. Yeah, that's what we do, man. We eat as much that is sufficient. You don't want to be eating too much of this and too much, or dabbling all the books. Eat what is sufficient. The Bible, none shall want her meat. This is what is sufficient for us, man. You ain't gonna start going, oh, what was the what was happening in Genesis chapter 0 0.5? There's no there's only Genesis 1, bro. There's no Genesis 0 0.5, bro. You know what I mean? Just, <laughs> just start from there. Alright? This is Psalms 139 and verse 6. Such knowledge is too so wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain unto it. It was what? It, I cannot attain unto it. It is high, I cannot un attain unto it. Such knowledge is too much, man. It's high, man. I can't get that, I can't reach that. You're reaching. That's what they say, uh, Jake, Israelites, right? We've got a terminology, we say, bro, you're reaching. You're, try you're trying to grab sign and it's, you know, it's not there for you, bro. Just stay where you're at. But that's what we have to do. The secret things belong unto the prophets, man. So it will be revealed when it's good and ready. New things he will declare unto you when it's good and ready. Right? Because knowledge is increased in these days, man. Uh, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 3, verse 21. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. Neither search the things which are above thy strength. Yeah, don't go anything that's above your strength. Don't search it's too deep, man. It's a bit, it's the precepts really. It's just the precepts for the same for the same vibes, man. Deal with what you can bear. Handle what you can handle, man. A lot of these, that's what Caucasians do, innit? They go way past the ability to understand. They'll be trying to know where the nerves are all touching and connecting from the spine and going telling you, oh yeah, I don't think he's gonna walk, mate. And then phew, your Howard just gets him up and he's just walking. Mate. Because you, your, your thoughts and your little Caucasian brain don't understand the most size creation. He wants to make him walk, he's walking. Bro. He wants to heal his skin, he's healing. Bro. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 11. He have made everything beautiful in his time. Also he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that power maketh from the beginning to the end. So I mean, from the, you're not gonna find it. You're not gonna understand why he healed the guy and made all of these nerves connect them back to where they needed to go. Uh, after you've damn snapped them and broken his spinal cord, man. Uh, uh, and you're damn whipping and breaking, man, of, the, of our nation, man. Yeah, go to the... This is Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 24. That which is far off and exceeding deep, who can find it out? I applied mine heart to know and to search and to... Salakia. Yeah, yeah. I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom, the reason of things and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. Yeah, man, that's what we've got to learn, man. We've got to learn what's the laws and the commandments and, and how you can get into, not get into the kingdom. That's, that's folly and madness. You're not getting in the kingdom if you do a folly and madness. But righteousness will keep you in and get you into the kingdom. Go on. Uh, no, this is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 17. Then I beheld all the work of power that a man cannot find out the work that is done under the sun. Because thou, because though a man labor to seek it out, yea, further, Though a wise man think to know it, yet shall he not be able to find it. Yeah, and a lot of people think they're going to know everything under the world. 
You so few Caucasians don't know everything, man. They think they've got all the scientific inventions and all of these policies they write up, all the statistics they got. You don't know everything. You've not gone to the moon. You ain't gone to the damn, you ain't even gone to the depths of the sea because you'll get crushed. All right, Leviathan's down there. Leviathan's down there waiting to crush you guys. So yeah, man, just hold, hold your peace, man. This is the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and verse 14. For the fools of the mortal men are miserable and our devices are but uncertain. Yeah man, the devices are uncertain. Uh, they don't, they can't get that CAT scan to find out all of this. The mortal men, they're uncertain stuff. You can't rely on their inventions, man. You can't rely on their tools. They don't work. You work in construction and that, you notice there's certain people, it, it, there's not a tool for that, man. You know, what are you not trying to do, bro? You know what I mean? <laughs> just, just, just relax, man. You can't do that one. That's why they can't rebuild the Notre Dames. They can't rebuild all these cathedrals, man. There's no tools for them, for that. It's too high for those guys, man. Because you're not giving the credit of where it was due to the so-called black men, the Negroes. Let them be the architects. They might be able to build back the cathedrals that they built before, man, in the time of the Moors, man. But because you think you done it, oh, Caucasians there, eh? Now, psh, you look like idiots because you can't do it again. Hey, partner, Shabala, what place is the Arab Ashim this is the book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 12 who have measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and met, met, it, and met out heaven with the span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in the balance in a balance yeah man. the high Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai man he's done all things the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob that's coming to destroy this wicked place for what they've done to the so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans man oh, that's right. he's coming to destroy England England's destroying itself anyway. It's not hard. They left Europe. The Brexit's kicking in. The pound's not worth much. The dollar's getting higher. The dollar's in debt. A 30 trillion dollar debt to themselves. This place is done, man. Russia's blowing it up, and we can't wait for that, man. All praises to the most high, man. All right? And I'm going to pass it on to the next powerful speaker. All right, the Nazarite News. Come on, Yeshua. Come on, Yeshua. Come on.